Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Amisha Maria and in this video I am going to try the new POW collection by The Main Choice that is sold exclusively at Ulta. I believe and they say that this line is for all hair types and it is supposed to provide definition and shine so I guess we'll see if that is what I get out of these products I already washed and deep conditioned my hair with the shampoo and the deep conditioner and then I'm going to go on with some more products. The only product that I will not be using from their line is their conditioner. I did receive it, but I typically just only use a deep conditioner when I wash my hair, so I might try that later on. One thing about me is that I'm not very picky when it comes to shampoos. All that I look for in my shampoos is for it to clean my hair. Um, I don't really care if it's like a moisturizing shampoo or if it strips my hair a little bit because I just see it as I'm always using a deep conditioner when I use a shampoo so I just expect for me to have a really good deep conditioner to get that moisture back into my hair but for this shampoo I will say it did a very good job I love the lather of it and you literally only need like a little bit I did do two washes which I typically do when I do shampoo my hair but with this one after the first wash I just I felt like my hair was clean enough which is a really nice thing so even though I believe this is what like $15 something like that you'll definitely have it for a while because it does not take a lot of product to get your hair clean um, and then on top of that, this smell, oh my god, it smells so good. It smells like some type of candy or something. I don't know, but it smells really good. As far as the mask, now I will say that I did watch one video reviewing the line, which gave me like a little bit of a bias, I want to say, in regards to the mask. But in my opinion... I like the mask. Was I wild and blown away? No, but it definitely did what it's supposed to do as being a hair mask. Um, it definitely had slip in it, so I was able to detangle my hair thoroughly. And, you know, it did put moisture back into it. My hair feels very soft. So, in that case, I do like the mask and the shampoo. Now on to the two products that I'm really excited about to try, which is the leave-in conditioner and the gel. So to start with the leave-in, smells good, smells like the shampoo and conditioner. I'm going to just start off with this amount, see how far it gets me. If it's anything like the shampoo, I already know that a little goes a long way, so we'll see. I'm just going to take a brush, detangle a little bit. So now I'm gonna go in with the gel. Let's just see, that's what it's like. And I don't know if you can see, but it does have like a bit of shimmer in it. So, let's see, let me just take some and put it in a section and see what happens. going to do a little or I probably just go ahead and do the rest of this section before I tell you what I'm thinking so just give me a moment okay so I did go off camera and just did the back of my head just because I had to figure out something now when I did this section for some reason my ends which is just a struggle point for me I always struggle with just getting moisture 
in my ends but my ends didn't feel very moisturized so I wasn't sure if it was like the product itself just didn't moisturize enough or if I just didn't put enough product so on this section I added a little bit more of the leave-in and it does feel better so I got that straightened out so um, I'm just going to go ahead and continue the rest of this and I'll come back with some final thoughts I am finished applying the leave-in and the gel to my hair. This is what it's looking like. Now, what I will say about this gel so far is that I love how it clumped my curls. My curls don't look PC. They're not super separated. They're nice and clumped and together, like even like this piece. So I do like that. However, I am concerned with the hold of the gel. Um, keep in mind, this is the first gel that I've ever tried by the main choice. So I don't know how her other gels are. I have seen many videos where YouTubers love them. Some of the YouTubers that I watch who has a similar texture as me, they really do like the gels, but of course it's from different lines than the Powell line. But my opinion right now for this gel specifically is that it does not have enough hold. And I'm still left with a good amount of frizz. I expect frizz in my frizz prone areas of course, which is typically around the top of my hair, like this section where my hair is not as, I guess, curly. Um, those are, that's typically where I see a lot of my frizz, ironically. Um, but I'm also getting frizz like right here. I'm not sure if you can see it, on the camera but you see how my hair is not very smooth and laid down even like my edges won't lay um so and then like even this part um like it's just i don't know it's just not what i look for in the gel so I'm not going to make a final decision until it is dry. So I'm going to go ahead and do my process for drying and stretching it and I'll come back to let you know my final thoughts. All right, so it is the next day and this is what my hair is looking like. And as you can probably tell, I don't really care for it. Um, My hair kind of looks like how my hair will look on like day six, day seven of a wash and go, and this is only day two. So, yeah. I don't I don't think the power line is, is it's just not for me. Um, a few things to take away as to why I don't like it. One is the frizz. As you can see, my hair is very frizzy. I have frizz here, frizz under here. I have frizz here at the top, like, which I already assumed was going to happen just during the application pro process. I just knew that I was gonna have frizz. 
that is something that I was expecting. However, my hair feels extremely dry. Like, it doesn't feel like I put anything in it, honestly. Um, doesn't feel hydrated. It doesn't, it just doesn't really feel nice at all, especially for a day two wash and go. Now, the other thing that I can say about these products is the gel definitely did clump my curls together though i do like how it clumped my curls i just don't like the fact that my curls just feel dry they're frizzy and oh yeah and it's very dull like i have no shine in my hair so yeah now my final thoughts on the pow collection from the main choice i don't think that it is a bad collection it's not a trash collection at all i just think for my specific hair type it's just not the best thing for me and it doesn't give me the results that i look for when it comes to me doing my hair now if your hair maybe not require to have products that you know give a lot of moisture to the hair if you maybe have you know unless or i won't even say anything with about density but even if you have maybe hair that is not so prone to frizz it'll work for you so i definitely think like their products are good it's just not good for me and i don't think it'll be good for anyone who has tighter curls like a 4b 4c so yeah that's my honest and true opinion and keep in mind this is the first full collection from the main choice that I am trying so I came into this with a only a little bit of bias and that's because I did see one girl's review on the line but outside of that I've never tried a full collection I've never tried the gels from the main choice so this is my first time and honestly yeah I'm not impressed for it for myself personally but I definitely will continue to try the main choice products because I know a lot of curly girls love their stuff and I have heard nothing but great things about their lines. So I definitely will try more things. It's just that this collection is a no for me. But thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you have not already and i will see you in my next video bye